if you watch this, the defensive line are moving and they're getting penetration, beating guys out their stance. And that's what you want to do when you're a smaller defensive line. Rob Solon, Christoph Henley. Hasty goes behind those tight ends and barrels forward for a gain of seven. Savion Harris on the tackle. Stand up touchdown. Jamichael Hasty. Seventh touchdown of the day for Baylor. This Baylor offense is just getting so much push up front. Really well blocked, and, and all you need is a small crease. Said to Charlie Brewer before he came out on this drive and execute. Come out throwing. Great protection. Underneath, it's hasty. First down yardage makes some people miss. Jamichael Hasty for 16. It's a lot about the temperature. I think it's starting to take its toll on this defensive line for Iowa State. They're only rushing three, which you don't expect to get pressure with just rushing three. But on the line, on the second and ten, and another run. Upended at the 45 yard line by Parker. It's a good job inside. Double teams in the middle. He only needs a little bit of space. Number six, Hasty's really one of the more elusive. Option left, the pitch to Hasty, and Jamichael with a first down. Rumbling all the way down inside the 30-yard line. The receivers with terrific blocks on the edge. Mims and Sneed and a 31-yard pickup. And second and 10 on the ground. Terrific work by Hasty to weave through that defense all the way down to the 40 in a run of 19 yards. His last time on the field now, his team trails 3-0. He's backed up all the way at his own seven. Hasty trying to get outside. He does. And Hasty at the last second. It's Jordan Brooks able to get it down. Washington at Arizona. And off again, this time to Hasty. And Hasty's got the burst of speed. And Douglas Coleman able to slow him down enough after a pickup of 21. The pick nits on the guy. He's doing a great job uh, catching and running the ball. Cuts it up there using the block of Mims. Baylor trying to go 6-0. Hasty to the end zone. Touchdown. Baylor wins in double overtime. about him being an emotional leader and a leader by example on this football team. He leads by example, putting the nail in the coffin of Texas Tech, who completed great. Three times for 17. That's Jermichael Hasty in the backfield. Hasty, who turned one over moments ago, looks to atone and does. Beyond the 30, out to the 32. That's a move the chain 17-yard run. Rodarius Williams. They haven't gotten Mims unleashed. Here's a late delay blitz. Yep. Brewer gets out of trouble. This is an RPO. That's Jamichael nice. Hasty. That's right down the sideline. He cuts against the green. Jamichael looking nasty and hasty. Can he take it? He can. Touchdown. Flat down. 74 yards. RJ Sneed. Well, I know it is 14. I beg your pardon. Well, one thing that's not in question is the speed of Jamichael Hasty Chris again. Platt. Chris Platt is there with the whole call, but Jamichael Hasty showing you some of that breakaway speed on a tremendously executed RPO down. Deep ball pass that he caught against Texas Tech. Here's Hasty. Jamichael! Touchdown! 5 9 205, the redshirt senior from Longview, Texas, home of the Lobos, gets that one in. On inside, and what a way to answer again. Outside effort here, the kick out block. Outstanding job of trap, inside trap game. Number six, keep him going. Uh, I think you had a sure first down. Well, now you're out of timeouts. Yep. And one first down, and this oh, thing is over. Yep. Jamichael Hasty, he may see to it with an exclamation point. Wow, Jamichael Johnson to the end zone. Some exclamation point. 73 yards.
you talk about a hasty response that was quick here's a hiccup just a three-man front you expect it necessarily I don't know why you would do that because again you know that they're probably going to try to run it out not trying to throw the ball with the lead you're trying to milk the clock in that scenario you know I, I, I immediately thought because of his background that <laughs> Moses may have took him to the promised land but he never went in <laughs> this guy right here is a, is a visionary yeah man. he is overlooked by a lot of power five schools he was a little smaller in high school to Michael Hasty. And he's got a good run inside the 35. So first and 10 now into the red zone for Baylor. This is Jermichael Hasty. The bounce to the outside. Touchdown, Bears. Again, that was Keith, who got a key block for him up front. Right, Beth, number 61 on the top of the screen comes around and just drives. You got to get off of that. And you see a poor angle by number eight. Who did play some in the first half, got hurt, came out of the game. We did not see him return, but now Gary back out there for the third quarter. Jamichael Hasty with the big run out close to midfield. Hasty, nice cutback. Jamichael Hasty into the end zone for the third time today. They won up front, great block, and good job by number 91, the right tackle. Solon. They are already uh, close to their season average for yards on the ground. Uh, all on the ground here to open up the third quarter. Hasty breaking tackles. And Jermichael in for his second touchdown of the day. In the hole, and listen, Hasty now, he's, he's showing some versatility at the back position. Nobody's touching him really till right there. Number one. Uh, you got four on the run. Used him a lot as a runner this year. He handed it off to Jermichael Hasty. And that's a first down. Just man, he's just gonna get up the field too far. And Hasty's gonna slip right inside him. There's nobody blocking him. And then Kenneth Murray, who doesn't miss many tackles.